Hi guys, it's Olivia. I'm so glad to be back. I really missed you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to do an elbow stand and share with you all my tips and secrets for how I hold it for a really long time. Hi, I'm going to introduce to you some of the basic variations of the elbow stand. Straight, which I think is the hardest. Double stag, which in my opinion is the easiest. And split, if you're kind of flexible and want to give yourself a challenge, go for it. Now I'm going to show you a few stretches you can do before attempting the elbow stand. It's not required to stretch before doing an elbow stand, but I think you should because your body will be able to work with further range in motion and it's going to help you out if you fall and you'll see why later. Here's form number one, and by the way, I taught myself how to do an elbow stand, so when I first began learning, I found this form easier. But eventually you want to switch over to form number two once you're comfortable because you have more options for balance tips. Now when you're in your elbow stand, your arms should form a 90 degree angle and you should be spotting at either your hands or the ground. Your elevated foot is going to kick off, and I'm right handed so I felt more comfortable having my right foot as the elevated foot. Here's a little diagram I made for you if you want to screenshot this and use it as a reference. First, I want you to just practice kicking up lightly so you can get both feet off the ground for a quick second. Next, you're going to kick harder so you can get both legs high in the air. Now the wall is going to be your best friend for this exercise as it'll be there to catch you if you fall and you can lean on it slightly for support as you adjust your form and try to find your center. Eventually you're going to have to say goodbye to your best friend and practice on your own. Make sure you're working on a soft surface and this is an example of how you would fall. You would land in a bridge on your elbows and remember when I said that stretching would help you later on? Well this is what I mean. This is one of the stretches I showed you in step 2. If you end up following numerous times and can't seem to balance at all, here's a little refresher I like to do that helps me. Do this motion as you breathe in and out before beginning your elbow stand, and I usually end up balancing a lot better after doing so. Finding your center is the ultimate tip to balancing your elbow stand. Notice how my butt is kind of directly above my head, and also I'm maintaining the natural curve in my spine, and that is basically your center. How do you find your center? Try kicking up lightly, but with just enough power so you don't tip over, but you're still getting off the ground. It takes practice to find it, and the more you do it, you'll begin to find your center naturally. I found my center by trying many times, and of course not giving up, and then there was that one time that I found it and I was like, yes, but then I lost it the next five times, but I kept practicing and eventually it became a habit and I automatically would find my center whenever I practiced. You would have to be in form number two to apply this tip. Spread apart and bend your fingers slightly and push into the ground when you feel yourself tipping off center. Tip number three, having strength in your arms and core is a given for improving your balance. If you're in need of a good arm or core strengthening workout, I recommend checking out my arm and ab workout videos. The last tip is shifting your weight and spotting. Make sure you're looking at the ground or hands for this will help you balance. As for shifting your weight, when you begin to fall backwards, shift the weight towards your hands and if you're falling forward, shift your weight towards your elbows, making you tip back so you can return to your center. Good luck, friends. Say